Hello everyone out there in magic land, this is Cory with LimitedMagic.com coming at you with my smooth, deep, sexy voice because I'm doing a smooth, sweet, sexy review of a sexy product called Duels of the Planeswalkers uh, Magic 2015. So, <clears throat> as you can tell by looking at my Steam account here, and Magic 2013, 50 hours played, Magic 2014, over 100 hours played, Magic 2015, I played for three minutes today. Uh, I logged in, uh, went to the settings, changed the resolution, Changed the uh, the simple targeting uh, to be more like real magic, and then I exited right, right, right away so that you could see like the opening sequences and all this cool stuff, and my reaction to like the initial stuff. So now that it should be working properly, we just we should have minimized Steam here so it doesn't pick up weird stuff on the recording. All right, stainless games, the <laughs> best played on Alienware. I'm not playing on Alienware, so it might not be the best. Um, you know what? Let's just let's just watch this for a second, but yeah, Garuk going through naturalizing everything in his path or becoming of the veil. I'm actually gonna skip past that for now. Um I'll let you watch the full thing when you get the game. Uh, click on big ol' start here. I think there's a small delay when you press start, but that's okay. I'm ready to go. Got kind of a Diablo-y, like old school Diablo-y feel to the music in this game. Something, something to do with like, um, yeah, something to do with uh, how Grook has been corrupted. I think is they're trying to present these like some evil stuff. I'm gonna go into the single player um, first quest. The basics is what I got to do. So let's go into first quest. The basics and see what this game is all about. Let's go into the meat and potatoes of this game. Really start figuring out what it's like. Okay, so I'm a, pl I'm a planeswalker. Tells you what a planeswalker is, that's cool. People who have played a lot already already know all this stuff. People who haven't played a lot already, and this Welcome is really what it's, who it's targeted for. Oh, thank you. Of planeswalkers, powerful sorcerers Ooh. who can magically travel between planes of existence. I don't know whose voice this is, but it's very to pleasant. Win, you must defeat your opponent by bringing his life total down from 20 to zero. His or her lady, or their. Also, there are other ways to win, but that's to okay. To do this, you will use a variety of tools represented in the game as a deck of shuffled cards. All players deck of have cards. Their own decks to play with. We call this <laughs> your library. We're all gonna play with our own decks here, children. No playing with at each other's decks. Of the game, each player draws seven oh, cards. look at this beautiful hand they've given me. Like all these forests. Hands, you have the option of redrawing. No. No. As you can see, magic cards. Uh, yes. Five colors of magic. Okay. Quest, you're playing a green deck. Green specialty is large, Damn right. powerful creatures. Your opponent is Crimson Mage. Oh, I'm a large, powerful creature. Let's do this. Spells or summon creatures. You're gonna need some resources. In magic, looks like we've got more than limited resources here. Comes from lands. Every turn, you may play a land from your hand. Once you have enough lands on the battlefield. You'll have the mana you need to cast spells, okay. including summoning yep. creatures. Play Sweet. I'm gonna play land now. Don't have enough mana to cast New card border. That's cool. Pass it all the way out. Got to go through combat. I like how they do have like the main combat and all and all the things in between are represented. So he's gonna play his mountain. Oh, he's gonna shock me. Don't shock me, bro. Crazed goblin. Attacking with creatures like crazed goblins Damn. is the major way players defeat their opponents. On every creature card, the bottom corner displays its power and toughness. Ah, I see. Power is the no, amount wheel of it. damage a creature deals Boom. in combat. Toughness I think anyone who's watching this pretty much knows power and toughness of creatures, how to summon creatures. Goblin warrior is pretty cool. He had to use up or tap his land to pay to cast I'd tap spell. that. Mana costs can be more complex than when a player. Yeah, so if, you know, obviously you need two green to pay this guy. Do anything that requires tapping. This is called summoning sickness. These creatures will have a dizzy look to them. <laughs> we can expect the crazy goblins so, to attack on Crimson Mage's next turn. We do because he has to attack. But I like I like the swirly, swirly um, graphic here on the dude's summoning sickness. It's something that's on the MTGO beta too, I think. I'm not sure if it's on the original, but uh, it is quite helpful from time to time. Power and toughness are 
more than a match for that. That's more than a match. Let's pass the turn. All right, let's pass that turn. Let's see what this guy does. He's probably got a combat trick up his sleeve. They're gonna teach me about combat tricks. Now, oh, it's like, oh, my three three is gonna beat a one one for sure. Us with the crazed goblin. The crazed goblin has to attack because its rules say it must. Yes, that's right. But wait, there's more. Oh, combat. Okay. Oh, like I like how the red zone opens up during the attack. That's nice. Attacks, I did not know that was gonna happen. Okay. Unless you're a douche and you play like, if you play the mana in front of the in front of the if cards, like if you're playing combo. Ah. Blocked, you will take damage. Your Colonian Tusker can mm. keep you safe. Creatures with summoning sickness can block. block the they can. Goblin. Okay. Block it. I love her enthusiasm. This is beautiful. Yeah, click it. Good stuff. The whoever did the voice for this is really really uh, friendly and enthusiastic. I like what they got. To do the voice. Um, do I have to click next or something? Click the block button. Ah, okay. There's a big button over here now. During the combat, there used to be just like a step, continue button, I guess. Each deals damage equal to their power. This time, these creatures will deal damage to each other at the same time. Craze Goblin will die, and the Colonian Tusker will survive. Pretty excited about this. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Oh, Colonial Tusker, so efficient. At the end of See, every turn, each creature heals. that's cool this time. I don't know if it's going to be cool every time, but it was cool this time. It was very cool this time. Track of damage from turn to turn. Okay. Play another land. Boom, land. Now it's our chance <sighs> Red to attack the Crimson Mage. Blow. Attack! Because he doesn't have any creatures to block with, Crimson Mage will take three points of damage. Damn right he will. Crimson Mage, down to 17. It's like he just started a game of modern. We're gonna pass our turns, we have no spells. That's what she said. I skipped past it. Oh. Damn, son. Is that Neo Knight? Neonate? It's a vampire. It's very scary. Boom! Uh, I don't want to cast it now, but, you know. We're going to see if the game gives me shit for not casting it now. You're not allowed to not cast it. Okay. <clears throat> so, because I must, I'm casting my creature before combat. Time to attack. Send yeah. Tusker into combat. Remember that you can't attack with your rumbling Bayloth yet, because it has summoning sickness. I like it's this girl. I don't know who did it. I'm gonna have to look that up. Magic, you can only decide that your creatures are attacking an opponent. You don't have War control over which of your opponent's creatures will block. That's a question that comes up, like, on the very first combat of every single new player's game. I'm glad they covered that. Unless the card says otherwise, blocked creatures deal all damage to the creatures that blocked them. No damage is dealt to the defending player. Blocking with small creatures to not take any damage is sometimes a good strategy. Sometimes is a very important word in that sentence. Crimson Mage, you have your work cut out for you now, sir. Bonfire of the Dam for four. What is this? A 3 3 hill giant? Blood Rock Cyclops. Text turn table. Okay. So, what's our play here? Uh, attack with both? A little different. Instead of playing your land and casting a spell before oh, combat, look at this. They're teaching us how to be good combat. at magic. Damn. Okay. This be like I'm not gonna block because then I get to hit my god. <laughs> it looks like Crimson Mage has decided not to block with his Blood Rock Cyclops, so he'll take seven damage. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so good. This this. Okay, so M15 so far has been way friendlier than the other two I've played. Like, the other one was like, you, you stupid idiot, you died on the very first combat. Uh, this They were ruthless. M14 was ruthless in the start. I think I lost to Shonda the first time I played against her. Because the game was like, you sent it to Planeswalker, screw you, I'm going to kill you right now. But this is, this is a very friendly game. 
Now he has to attack with his 3 3. This game is just beating up on Crimson Crimson Mage right now. It's not even fair. Oh, arrows! Ar arrows because they have bows on their chests. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I didn't even notice that before. I'm learning so much. Oh yeah! This is like hand hand a kid a sledgehammer, and he's gonna have as much fun as I'm having right now. Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, I'm the I'm the god of Magic: The Gathering. Best you didn't know. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I'm gonna spice things up. Me and Magic Fifteen Lady are gonna spice things up right now. Expanding horizons. Sure. Let's do that. I think I'll just play through the whole tutorial, and then by that time, we should have a pretty good idea of what the game is like. Oh, you can use sorceries. Okay, so we're going to do, like, creatures, sorceries, quest, maybe enchantments. Instants will probably be last, because they're so hard. Oh, yeah. Mage. I'm going to remove so many creatures. As you can see, a lot of ruling has gone on so far. But we now go to the scheduled program already in progress. It's a miracle to survive the next few turns. It's Azure oh. Mage's turn, and she attacks with her what's, last What's the black? There is no black miracles. To two. Damn. But there are no black miracles, so I, she's really setting me up for excitement here. I was like, oh my god, I want a black miracle! Okay. What are we gonna rip? We're gonna rip off the top something amazing. Sangir Vampire. Jellyf jellyfish? Oh my god! <laughs> jellyfish. 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 Oh. A sorcery. Sorceries are cards intended to be used a single time. Yup. Uh, okay. Hmm. Either of my two main phases, sure. Assassinate this is a tutorial is way better at teaching magic well. than the previous ones. This goes over, like, if I was to be teaching somebody magic, I'd be like, come with me to my computer. Don't look at the browser history. I need to show you this magic 2015, because it is going to teach you way better than me. What is he, what's he doing? Divinating? Oh my goodness, Windrake? creature that has a special ability. Zoom in on the card. Oh, you need to play a card that can deal with airborne threats. Sure. This is the voice of the inner narration of Cory when he reads magic cards. Oh! Sick top deck, bro. What will you do okay. To stay alive? Yeah, I'm gonna play Vampire Nighthawk because it's like the best uncommon ever. It's like so close to being rare, it's scary. So again, they have like the little things on the sides like flying, lifelink, death touch. Pretty standard for these games. Um, it's a good reminder, so you don't have to zoom in on cards very often. Don't attack with the Windrake, that'd be silly. Eighth land, okay. Holy Jesus. Eighth Goliath Sphinx. It's a big Sphinx. Trouble. That Goliath Sphinx can kill you with one hit. But the good news it is that your vampire Nighthawk can kill any creature it deals damage to because it has death touch. Yes, it does. So uh, we've gone over card draw, jellyfish. Uh, we've gone over play it. Okay. Flying. We're about to go over death. We just went over death touch. Okay, We're going to go over lifelink. Do you attack with your vampire Nighthawk? Uh, if you no. Do, you won't have any untapped. No. Not this time, game. You won't fool me this time. I wonder if she would have stopped me. Oh well. Someone check that out. Ballsy. Oh yes. You're gonna get blocked, son. Oh, so good. Gain two life, thing dies. What she's gonna point out that I gained life. Oh! From the grave, oh. Oh. Just top deck after graveyard. top deck! Now's your chance to take that Goliath oh, yeah. as your own. I just want to hear her talk. I don't care if you think it's boring. Yes, please. Confirm. Oh, so good. And I'm going to attack with this this, uh, this glass, too. To attack with your it appears safe, even though our opponent has blue mana and two cards in hand. It is safe. It's so good. 
So good. So good. I do like that it like brings the red zone out to like signify it's like you're attacking now, in case you didn't know. Now swing in for the win. Oh, so much power. And I still got all these. Didn't even need to put Yep. Bow. Sick. Many kinds of spells and creature abilities. Look for spells that fit your play style. In Quest 3, we'll learn about spells with more permanent effects. Yeah, so enchantments, artifacts. Okay. <laughs> Augmentation. Big word. Ooh, I get to choose. White or blue. The choice is obvious. Choose my starting deck. You get to choose one of four decks? Uh, black and blue, black and green, uh, black and blue and red, blue and white. Okay, uh, black, blue, or black, red. This is tough. Blazing intellect. Which one best describes me? Cruel denial. Like we remember. Blazing intellect. Yes, please. I thought I, I thought we were doing augmentation. Were we not doing augmentation? Well, let's do augmentation first, guys. Come on. Let's let's not let's not jump ahead here, despite how exciting the music is right now. Okay, enchantments. Enchantments are good. Auras. Auras are also enchantments. I hope I get to play with that is amassing an army of small, efficient creatures. Is this just exactly the playmat art? Because that's that's awesome. Onyx, a black mage. Glory Seeker. You can an enchantment. Enchantment. Oh, the pure. Spells whose effects are constant as long as it remains. Yep. Let me cast it. Yeah, I love casting this card so much. Okay, three threes. Or as they say in Newfoundland, got a couple of tree trees. Now, also, your honor of the pure will affect all your creatures as long as it remains. All my, all my creatures are my white creatures. Just white ones. I'm on a white, so whatever. Can you press enter to go faster space? No, you have to click. I also like this thing that, that happens, like the... You don't have to scroll at it, you have you can just like mouse over it and it brings up the things you need to know about it. Like the flavor text, mostly. Top decking a land was not my favorite thing. Do we do we attack here? If you should wait. Now, the results might not be good. Perhaps mm. waiting might be the best strategy for now. I'd like to see if she stops me, but I don't. I don't want to like attack and then lose and then have to record it again. <laughs> so I'm just gonna follow her advice because she seems really trustworthy. Do I dubly block? Now you have a chance to take care of this minotaur problem. Minotaur problem. Creatures <laughs> have the ability to block in groups. In this situation, your glory seekers will be able to destroy the Minotaur Abomination. But in the process, one of your glory seekers will also die. No guts, no glory seekers. Block! Minotaur Abomination has some wicked flavor on it too, because in that same set there was a Minotaur that was just like... One Minotaur that was a 2-3, and this is just like stitched together, right? Making it twice as big. While oh. the game globally, auras affect specific things, usually creatures. This one looks especially useful right now. This aura allows yep. you to target any creature on the battlefield. Yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, put an end to this nightmare. Now that the nightmare Seek some glory. Blam, Onyx Mage. How do you like me now? Oh yeah, it does. This is good. It's like a... Oh no! I'm gonna have to get like another two honor the peers at this rate. It's like a one card in hand too. On your glory seeker. The effect Damn. It as a one -one creature. Just left in three more times. What is this now? Walking corpse. Oh. He's got a bear. He's got all kinds of crazy stuff. 
What am I gonna draw? Ooh. First strike is pretty darn good. Teaches you how to do first strike. There's no narration during this part, which is confusing because every other part was narrated, but that's okay. It's not that important. You don't need to narrate everything. Yeah, First Strike Vigilance is pretty busted right now. Planes, not so much with the busted, but yeah, we can attack with this guy. First Strike. First Strike resolves first. And that's it. Perfect. It's not even letting me play my other planes. It is forcing me to fake that I have a combat trick. Yep, it's still, still forcing me to fake I have a combat trick. I respect it. I got two combat tricks, guys. Bam! Play more magic. Remember that enchantments can help you win the game, either by improving your creatures, removing your opponent's creatures, or other cool effects. In quest, yes. we'll learn some tricky spells and interactions. Tricky spells? I'm all about tricky spells. Let's do that. Ooh. I like the mood. The mood of this game is nice. I like the mood of this game quite a lot. Mastering the stack. Yes. Okay. This sounds like the right mission for me. I think I need to master the stack. Just like when I went to Smitty's. Or what, what would you have? IHOP in the States? Whatever. Master the stack of pancakes. It's delicious. Quest, you'll be using a blue deck. Oh, yes. Is disrupting its opponent's plans, drawing cards, being and a dick. Difficult to block creatures. Your opponent is Jade. Excuse Mage. me, being tricky. Oh, I've got so many air elementals. But I'm gonna die. Damn it. Oh no! Why would you do that right now? Jade Make my guy bigger. An instant. Instants work just like sorceries. They apply immediately to the game and are then discarded. Except they can be played at any time. This spell you have makes her rumbling Bayloth larger, but only until the end of the turn. Respect, respect the gender equality in the his before the her now. I guess this Jade Mage is a her if you look at the art, whatever. I gotta block it. Cool, 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 cool. Little upsetting the loss of the old uh, air elemental there, but it was good. Cancel, a spell <laughs> that counters another one. Countering stops a spell from happening. Whenever your yep. opponent casts a spell, like summoning a creature, you can Cool. So I can't really attack this time because he'll just kill me. Now, be nope. I got you. I got you, M15 lady. Giant growth again. This would be way better if I was already okay. blocking the creature. Now Jade Mage has cast another giant growth. But instead of letting it make her rumbling Bayloth bigger, you can respond by pausing the action and casting cancel. Word. Pause is still yes, okay, pause is still spacebar. Now you've cast a spell, cancel, targeting Jade Mage's spell. Yeah. They both go to the graveyard. Yeah. Come at me with your creature, bro. bro -wet. Yeah, okay, so I still have to block. Uh, I mean, she's got two cards in her hands. So she's feeling pretty confident about this whole situation. She's just to be like, yeah, I'm just playing a creature now. Play, play a huge monster. Yup. Oh, it spiked. Damn it. I'm gonna freeze it. Archaeomancer. What do we have? Just cancel? What else? Just cancel. Okay. Seems good. Thankfully we have enough mana to cast it. Yeah. And then the... Bayloth hits me for two? Yeah, that's hot. That sucks. How are we gonna win? Are we gonna bounce the Bayloth? Normally, blocking creatures take all the damage from the attacking creature. But if a creature with trample is blocked, it will deal enough damage to kill the blocking creature and deal its remaining damage to the defending player. Sweet. 
Fun fact, I learned that Death Touch and Trample go well together in um, Tools of the Planeswalkers, so mad props for them teaching me stuff. It was a long time ago. Well, like last Unless year. Unless you stop the timer Ooh. to counter this mm. spell, nope. the Duskdale Worm will probably kill you. I like how she's like, it'll probably kill you. It would it would have killed me so much. Divination. What a godsend. Let's cast that. Oh <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah. Yes, please. It didn't even give me like I mean, obviously it wouldn't have let me play Switcheroo, but it didn't even tell me. It's like, you need to play Aether Searcher or whatever. Aether Adept right now. This is because that's what you need to do. It let me do it. Ooh. Interesting. Island? Island. Yup. Switcheroo. Thank you for that glorious Hydra. Islands are fine. Let me play the island this time. Is that the only island with different art? This deck is not GP ready. Yep, it's the only one with different art. Sloppy, oh, okay. Now we got more. Ha ha! Blau. He didn't play his Bailoth though. Didn't he have it? She she had a Bailoth. She could have blocked more damage. Instants are powerful All ways right. to surprise your opponents or thwart their plans. They sure Practice are. Using the stack with tricks like giant growth, cancel, and others. In quest five, we'll suit up interesting creatures. Interesting creatures with equipment. I like it. Card interactions. I like it. Mastering the stack, sick name. Card interactions. Okay. B B plus naming on on all of the all the quests here. Some permanence of abilities you can activate. For your final quest, you'll be using a red. Ooh. Red specialty is aggressive, quick creatures with interesting abilities. Your opponent is Alabaster Mage. Alabaster Mage. I'm always way behind on board state. Stormfront Pegasus. Come at me, flying horse bro. It's like, yeah, we know you can't do anything, so you're just gonna get hooved. Cool, so he, he emptied his hand. Oh. Oh, he has cards, okay. No graveyard. You've drawn Prodigal Pyromancer. Oh. A creature with an activated ability. Yep. Let's activate that ability, please. Just like attacking, abilities that require a tap, like prodigal. I'm sure that was all very good advice. I think we understand how the uh, activated abilities work. He is gaining so much light. What is this axe? Goodness. Oh, so much equipping. Guys, this is this is looking grim. It's a good thing this only has one toughness. This is a favorite card for Duels to Planeswalkers. This isn't one of the um, one of the ones you have to play against in one of the missions where you kind of like face up against an opponent who has only one strategy, and the strategy is like turn three, play this guy; turn four, play this guy; turn five, play this guy. Um, in this one, you get to use them, which is nice. Are we gonna do it right now? Okay. Uh, now, anytime, sure. Use the ability, creatures, that guy. Doesn't give me the option to do to do. Um, Players. Equipment leaves the battlefield. The equipment remains ready to be reattached for the same equip cost. I like it. Mountains are good. Let's do that. Do the mountain thing. I mean, overall, like the UI seems really clean on this whole game. Like, you've got your art. Interesting that it's diamond shaped instead of square shaped. Your 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 sequence goes. Up like this, up like that. Your health kind of wraps around your head. It's always pretty low because we're always almost dead. Um, 
Obviously, graveyard hand library. Damn, Torch Fiend, you're kicking some fucking face right now. Yep. We'll sacrifice right now. Certainly. And I know that this is bad, bad practice to do it right now, but we're gonna do it right now anyway. And when he plays the one toughness creature, I'm gonna be sad about it. I don't think that white gets haste all that often, so I'm not really thinking that. Ah, see, it would've been five five. Find vigilance. Archangel. Yep. It's nice. Ability costs one red mana. All. Yep. Pow. So I can pump it five times, or I can pump it four times and use this guy to ping it. Fun fact. No attacks. It's like, you're not attacking. Mm-hmm. Come at me, bro liner. Oh, it's like, hit the stop timer, so I hit the stop timer. Five times. Pow. Block that dude. Can I? I can't hit the stop timer now. Okay. Main phase. Sure. Are you gonna equip it? I'm not allowed to stop the timer to hit him with this ping. Let me ping you! Ugh. Guys. Guys. Um. Yep, blinding mage. Pew! See, if it would let me ping before, I could have almost won, but it didn't. It's gaining so much life, guys. You drew volcanic dragon. Oh, dragons! It has haste. I like. So they have they covered all the evergreen abilities now. They did trample, death touch, lifelink, vigilance, haste. Well, some say this isn't one, but they covered it. What else? Trample. Did I say trample? Whatever. No reach yet. Soon. This dragon has haste. Yeah. Tooth marks. Are interesting tools that can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Use them wisely. Use them wisely. Of course. Of course I will. Your final quest. Prove your worth. Okay. I, I think I could prove my worth. Hopefully. Um, I've got a long history of losing the first time I play like the final campaign cap off quest thing. Because the game isn't out for me. Every time I set the Planeswalker and I try to do this, it's like... No! Bad, Corey. So, this is a pretty sketchy keep. That said, keep it, obviously. If you could gutter snipe into like Void Snare, you're good. Void Snare becomes awesome. Yep. Polis Crusher. I wonder if it's just gonna be like mana, 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 Polis Crusher. It's looking like it's gonna be that way. Ooh, blue mana. Gutter snipe that. Here we are proving our worth against this Polis Crusher. Very important. Um, yeah. It gives the option to not show that stuff again. That's nice. I like that. Here we go. Fire Cat. Oof. Goodness. Okay, so it's giving us the option to do both. Let's, um... We want to get some attacks in. Type creature. We can do that next turn. Okay. So let's, uh, Void Snare this guy. Gutter Snipe triggers goes off. Does two damage. That goes back to his hand. Let's continue. Snipe him from the gutters. Rad. Okay, sweet. Play our Kraken Hatchling out. And call it good for the day. 
I have a feeling I'm gonna be banishing that fire cat as soon as it comes back. Yep. Hmm. Interesting that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. But kids, if you play this guy first and then play the fire cat, it becomes a two-one for the turn that it does not attack. So that's exciting. Let's go ahead and pull this guy up. Doesn't it? Uh, target tap creature. Oh, tap creature. Oh, amateur hour. Okay. Well, whatever. If he trades with the fire cat, he trades with the fire cat. I don't know. I'm cool with it either way. Sure. We're gonna win this despite being silly about it. Tap creature. I've never played this card before. Interesting card though. Pretty narrow. That's a big dude. Taxi's turn of fable unless you control it because of the beast. That's cool. Mm, now the, is there much point to me switcherooing that? I think there is. Let's take his big dude away. Uh, attacking means nothing good for me because he's going to block with a 0 4. So I'm kind of camping on my uh, 5 3 to get through stuff. I bet you're supposed to switcheroo before. Come at me, bro. Ah, oh, Moon Heron's so good right now. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna well, I have to attack him with my 5 3 guy. Shazam! 3 3 is still pointless. Okay, yep. Oh, hello. Titanic. <laughs> sure. It's a 4 8 now. That's a beating. That's actually a huge beating. Whatever. Moon Heron. I'm already winning the race, so. Yep. That's how flying works. So my hand's empty. He's got two cards left. He made some pretty snazzy moves. Come at me. Ah, Doesn't want to trade. More Moon Herons. I like that. Get in with the Moon Heron. Pretty intense. This is like my big proving ground. How am I gonna prove to people that I'm good at magic if I don't if I don't win at Duels of the Planeswalkers? End of tutorial. Feel pretty good about my my flyers here. Hope he doesn't play a spider or something. Lightning tool. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. That is really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not being blocked. Teach you about first strike again. This is good. It, it gives you all of the interactions. It didn't teach you about hexproof before, but that's okay. Still, still racing. Still not gonna pretend we have anything in our hand. Get in there for a six with our moon herons. Yep. Perfect. Lovely. Wonderful. Yeah, the fact that it, like, gave you your starting deck, like, it, it let you choose which one you got, that's pretty sweet. The fact that it's beating me up with a 6-3 first strike, <laughs> pretty mean. Give me a burn spell. Eek. I mean, I'm gonna block that with my 3-3, but still, it's rough. I'm gonna pretend I have a counter spell. So let's see, he comes back at me, I take six, seven. If he plays a red spell, ah, he's not gonna top deck a red creature. Yeah, I mean, sure, okay, fine. It, it tells me like it's a good idea to play a land spell in each of your turns, which is a fine thing to do, but in this case, like I know it's a computer and it knows what's in my hand already. But in this case, I'm just like, yeah, I want to bluff a thing. Block to 5 3, take 7. Seems okay. If he has a burn spell, well, he doesn't need to play the land. Perfect. Yep. Wow. 
I think we've gone ahead and proven ourselves here. What is this? Cranko's command? Sweet. Uh, I don't want to. Ooh, cycle. Oh, damn it. How did it say? I think it's, uh, what is it? Control? Control. So, control cycles through your options. This time it's double red or red blue. But whatever. We're just going to go win. Attack with all is a button that we like to press. Shazam! Oop, two, two glorious achievements for this. It gives the opportunity to view the battlefield. That's cool. Okay. Reselect colors? No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so we got, we finished the tutorial. We dealt 20 damage to a single opponent using flying creatures. Finished the tutorial. We got a persona. New booster unlocked. All right. Let's do a uh, let's do a cantrip. New pack smell. Siege dragon. Hello. M15 card. What what else? Nothing. Okay, so it's not like M14 where you get like a whole booster pack and you get to um, use it for sealed or something, but Ah, deck builder. To the deck builder. Okay. Sure. Yes. Deck is 26 lands and 34 spells, which is ideal. Is it ideal? Here's your first card. It's a rare card, which means it's very special. You can add this card to your deck and use it in duels. Adding cards you earn to your deck and improve it. Okay. Uh, yeah. It goes right in there. So, take out one spell. Remove Fro... Remove Frost Links. What kind of ridiculous... Remove Mar Maritime Guard. Remove Frost Links. <sighs> Fine. Click done. Sure. Sa save and quit. Guys. Don't remove your Frost Links. The Anaki created the oh. Chain Veil. Hello. Not merely to destroy, but to create destroyers. Of course, most are I like that that's the um curse. I set red creature that makes it uh, tap twice or activated activated ability activates twice on artifacts so that's that's pretty cool you got a couple with the chain bill that's pretty sweet more who were lured by its promise of power <laughs> oh Liliana looking good girl Hello. Some have been twisted and ruined by its dark magic. But Garrick? If his curse Garrick. is removed, I thought it was Garrick to us all. Whoa. Garrick. Garrick, Garrick, Garrick. All right. So I think I'm level five, level five or something, but anyways, that's the introduction to uh, our our Magic 2015. Um, let's let's give some good thoughts while we listen to this creepy Innistrad music. Um, gameplay quite similar to uh, M13, M14, M15 is looking pretty much the same. All of the controls are the same. Um, the uh, the whole tutorial was set up really well. Like, if I if I was to teach someone how to play the game, I would give them this. Um, this this is such such a much better tool than someone who's used to playing like modern and legacy. Like the people who taught me, they're like, yeah, you just it, it, jump right into the stack, and this is how instant spells work. No, th this is a pretty sweet way to learn how to play Magic, and it goes over a lot of the questions that most new players have. So, I'd say like. Yeah, let let people get on your computer, uh, wipe your browser history, and let them let them look at this game and learn how to play Magic. I think it's a pretty sweet way to do it. Um, it doesn't cover some fundamentals of paper Magic, obviously, like uh, shuffling and how to play properly in real life and how to communicate with an opponent. But it does teach you the fundamentals of uh, evergreen abilities, uh, how creatures, enchantments, artifacts, activated abilities work. Um, how auras work, 
all quite good. It didn't show you any bad auras, like the ones that you put on your own creatures that get two for one you, but that's fine. Um, all in all, I, <laughs> it seems pretty solid so far. I'm going to keep playing, and we'll see how it all uh, how it all turns out, but I'm thinking it's pretty darn good. See you in a bit.